Hey guys, it's Dane at Zim's Guitars. I just bought a whole truckload of stuff. I'm going to carry it into the store and then I'm going to go through the guitars one at a time so you can see what my new inventory is. So let's get started. It's not that hot out yet, but it's getting there. Okay, so we've got everything in the store. Here's the first one. I haven't seen any of these yet. So it's an Epiphone SG. Um, single humbucker in it. Very lightweight. There you go. I don't know. It's got a nice case. There's the first one. Epiphone. Okay. This looks like a Schecter. Oh, this is a Tempest. The Schecter Diamond Series Tempest. So kind of a cool double cutaway. Neck through design. Very nice. Got a little scratch down here. These are all used guitars. Just got my hands on this uh, whole collection. I think there's 21 in total. But here's our second one. It is a Schecter. Tempest Standard. Super cool. Okay, this is a Yamaha RGX-A2. Now, this is a cool guitar. They made the white one, too. This is really unique. I remember these things. Active pickups. Seems like really nice condition. Uh, might be Japan, but it's probably Korea or something. But, yeah. Yamaha. And they've got the truss or the they they got the truss rod underneath this little plate right here, which is kind of a neat thing. Yamaha RGX A2. Okay, this is a Fender N1, made in USA. Uh, okay, is that that's the Prodigy Fender Prodigy? So Fender made a Super Strat, right? To compete with the Kramers and all that kind of stuff. So this one's kind of cool, uh, just a two knob, Floyd Rose, wait a minute, is that a Kaler? That's got a Kaler on it, yep, Fender's uh, little super strat right here. Okay, this is a Kramer, it's not tuned, it's got a dual rail in it, 24 fret, reverse headstock, um, kind of a really nice uh, thin body on this thing. Uh, you guys will let me have to let me know what the model of this Kramer is right there. I don't know that much about them. Uh, but uh, this one is in great condition. And I just, I just really haven't seen anything with the thin body like this. So, guys, in the, in the, um, down in the comments, let me know what year you think this one is. Help me do some research. Okay, right here, let's take a look at what is in this one. Okay, it's a Schecter double cutaway. Is this a Blackjack or a another one of those Tempests? I think this is a Tempest. It's got a push-pull on it, hardtail, gold hardware, neck through. So that's two of these Schecters. I got the white one. And I got the black one. This uh, definitely needs new strings on it. So this might eventually end up being a restring video. I have to restring all these guitars anyhow. I'll end up doing videos on some of them. So yeah, we got another Schecter there. Okay. An Epiphone Junior. Uh, it's got the Gibson truss rod cover, so I think this might be one from the 90s. 1990s, they uh, used the Gibson thing. Okay, you know, it's a $150 guitar, maybe. Something like that. But it is here, single P90, which is kind of cool. Navi's bag here. Let's see what is in it. I have no idea. I haven't looked. Okay. It's Dan Electro. You got the two lipstick pickups in there. Um, I think you've got like a volume, volume, tone, tone. 
three-way switch. This is a nice one. Sometimes the, this uh, binding stuff that they put on here kind of comes loose. Uh, this looks nice and tight all the way around there. Kind of a uh, a little brown with a little some reddish kind of a brown in there. Cool guitar. These have the aluminum nut on there. Yeah, Dan Electro. Arts. <laughs> Empty TV Jones boxes. Ah. <laughs> so these TV Jones pickups. Pop possible. Who knows? When you end up getting stuff like this, there's no telling. <laughs> a couple extra things. Empty uh, TV Jones boxes. I don't know if the pickups are in this guitar. Okay. So we got one in a Fender gig bag. If it's a Fender, there's no telling. Let me undo this. We can get in here. It's a PV. So one of these little PV, maybe is a Predator, maybe something similar to that. The tuners have been changed out. Looks like it's in good condition overall. A uh, volume tone, five-way switch. You got the truss rod adjustment right here in the hill, which is nice and handy. Um, so, yeah, got a little PB for sale. All right, what's this say? Sticks and strings, Tucson, Arizona. Who'd have thought? All the way from Tucson. All right, look at that. We've got a little Squire Dual Sonic. It's got the top loader bridge. Um, crafted in China. Maybe it's the 20 inch scale length. Kind of a cool little guitar. Squire Dual Sonic. Okay, we got a PRS SE case. It looks like a bass case. It's extra long. And inside here, we are looking at an PRS SE Custom. This is probably like the Santana model or something. Custom 24, you can see the owl at the 24th fret. Nice guitar. It's in good shape. Really good shape on this one. Everything looks good. Built by World Music Instruments Korea. So this is the one of the older ones that was built in Korea. They're all in uh, from the Cortec factory in... Um, in uh, Indonesia now is where they're building them. So this is, uh, if you want one of the, the older ones, I'm hoping I find the bar. Uh, we need that. We need that whammy bar. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to find it. No, no sign of the whammy bar. Unfortunately, but you you can get them easily enough. It's got a nice dark. Fingerboard looks kind of like ebony. The neck looks pretty nice and straight on it. There you go, guys. An SE Custom. Okay, this one comes in a Fender case. But this is a Court G Series. Indonesian Court. And um, Cortec Factory. This has a really unique black and white kind of a swirl type of paint job on it. Seems like it's in really good condition. A G200 made by Cort. Unfortunately, all these guitars, you know, they're missing their uh, they're missing their whammy bars. But this thing, uh, let's see, this thing probably could use a set of strings. I always run my fingers underneath here to actually feel the amount of dirt. And for some reason, and I, they, they feel relatively clean. For some reason, the guy that owned all these guitars, he never had them in tune. He left them out of tune. But uh, Court, most likely... For, um, 09, so I'm going to say this is a, probably about a 15 year old guitar right in here. But uh, it's unique. You know, three single coils, 
volume tone, five way switch. It's a court. Okay, instrumental music center in Tucson. I'm in the Phoenix area. This all this stuff came from down in Tucson. Okay, what are we looking at here? This is a Hondo Formula One series. You got the wrap around bridge with the brass saddles. A Hondo, you got the 70s gold truss rod, bullet truss rod coming out of the end there. Uh, you know, there's a market for the Hondos. There's guys that collect these. You got your Grover tuners on here. This guitar is aged. It's probably, I'm going to guess it's a 20 year old guitar at least. The nut seems nice. This one is a little closer to being in tune. But yeah, there's some guys that love the Hondos. Oh, there it goes. Some of this stuff is going to need sprayed out and cleaned up. Got a little broken uh, pickup ring right there. But uh, an older Hondo Formula One. Got something in here. Okay. Dude, this one's got a shirt in it or something. There you go, man. The guitar player probably wore this. Van Halen? No, Van Halen. Uh, okay, this goes into the garbage. That would probably fit me if I ever go out and go clubbing. Right? That would probably be a great shirt for that. Right, here we go. Let's see what we got in here. So, this is a Schachter, and this is the Stargazer Diamond Series. This definitely has that Rickenbacker kind of vibe to it. This is a nice piece. Neck through construction, South Korea built. Uh, very unusual pick guard. What, what's the purpose of this? This is just design, a design feature. You got the Schechter um, uh, tailpiece back here. Volume, volume, tone. Three-way switch. Duncan design pickups. Yeah, again, very sort of a... Uh, kind of like a Regenbacher kind of thing. You got the big volute back here. I don't know if I like the big volute. Some of you guys, let me know what you guys think about a volute. I'm not a real big fan of the volute. I know that on the old... Older guitars, like the older Gibsons, they were a good idea to add that on there to keep them from breaking. Don't know if this Schechter uh, actually needs a loot, but they were going for like a vintage feel on this Schechter. Let's see what's in here. Okay, it is a Fender. It is a Fender Squire Telecaster Deluxe. So when you say deluxe, you've got the um, three-way switch up here, similar to like a Les Paul, with volume, volume, tone, tone, or maybe it's volume, volume, tone, and tone. Got these big old Fender, looks like wide range pickups in there that look really nice with the Fender logo on there. Uh, Squire Fender Deluxe, made in Indonesia. ICS 17. Oh, we got a little chip right there. That's unfortunate. That would bug some guys, other people. It doesn't matter too much. But we've got a Squire Tele Deluxe right there with the maple neck. It looks like it's never really been played. You see no fret wear. You run your fingers underneath here like this. I don't feel any dirt. It might not have ever been played. You got the uh, Cluson style tuners up here. Nice guitar. There's no... This is the only damage right there. And uh, because of that, it becomes more negotiable, right? You guys want to shoot me offers and stuff. Okay, another Fender case. Now, this is a collection that I just recently got my hands on. And we're going through them one at a time. 
And here we have a black Squire Tally Standard. I think this is sort of the John 5 style right here. You got the reflective pick guard on it. Uh, it looks like it needs intonated for some reason. This uh, saddle is way, way back. Actually, this saddle is probably where it belongs. And these are too far forward right here. But three-way switch, really nice condition. Lightweight, too, compared to that last tally. But, uh, yeah, this is a really, really uh, good-looking um, ICS-12. I would say it's a Squire... Uh, sort of a John 5 type of guitar right there. Really nice. Oh, heavy bar. <laughs> yeah, we have you Found bar. one. A win. <laughs> and some, uh, some of those tuners. Or locking tuners, but that's one of those whammy bars. I don't know what it would be. It for. doesn't even take a whammy bar. <laughs> I know, it doesn't take a whammy bar. Okay, we got another Fender gig bag here. Okay. It's a little Squire Mustang in black. Still got the the um still got the plastic over the pick guard. Still got the plastic on it. This is going to eventually fade. You don't get that off of there. But uh, yeah, these are these are nice little guitars. Uh, made in Indonesia, ICS 19. Still got the plastic on it. Seems like a brand new guitar. Probably could use a, you know, some new strings and a setup. You know, I was doing a lot of those Saturday setup videos where I would throw like three restring videos in the same one video. Uh, maybe I should get back to doing that. Let me know if you guys want to see something like that. Okay, very nice. Let me just check this pocket to make sure somebody didn't leave their weed in there or something. It's all clear. Let's go to the next one. Okay, it's a... PRS SE case. There we go. Okay, this is the PRS Santana model. And um, this is pretty much what started started it off for Paul Reed Smith was when he hooked up with uh, Carlos Santana and, and Carlos started playing PRS guitars. That was a big, big thing when that happened back in the 90s. And the Santana model has sold lots and lots of them. Uh, this is an older one from Korea. And, uh, yeah, the Santana model. If you're a fan of Santana, Carlos is a great player, great reputation. Living legend, so to speak. And uh, here is the... What is this? 12, 15, 17, 19, 20, 21, 22 fret version. Again, missing the arm. But, I mean, you can get those. Those are easy enough. It's an eBay item or a Sweetwater item. You can get them. PRS SE Santana. Okay, we got one in a hard case. And this is, oh, this is a vintage. So the brand vintage, uh, this is an SG with the um, three pickup, chrome hardware, it's got the case, fret ends need to be looked at, we've got some fret sprout on it, but vintage makes really nice quality guitars, they are teamed up with Trev Wilkinson, Trev Wilkinson? Yeah, here's the keys for the case. But yeah, these have the Wilkinson bridge and everything on there. Most likely these are Wilkinson tuners. Oh, they're Grovers. What are they? What's that say? Wilkinson. Yeah. So yeah, um, great brand. 
And these brand new, you know, you could get your hands on these for, you know, four to five hundred dollars, maybe six hundred at the most. So quality guitars, Wilkinson uh, pickups and everything. So really cool, a vintage. Cool if I check this guy out while you're doing it. Yep. Okay, so this is the line six. Um, now, I know that line six made a guitar called the Variax. And this might be the charging system for that. I don't know what this is for right off the bat. We're going to have to look at that. But the guitar... This might be a different guitar. This might not be a Line 6 guitar in here. It's not. So this Line 6 gig bag has a Schecter, what is that? The Damien Elite Floyd Rose. Definitely needs set up. It's missing a couple strings and the Floyd Rose is just sunk down in there. This thing needs strung up quickly got the EMGs so I'm gonna imagine there is a battery box on the back yeah here's the battery box made in South Korea Schecter with EMGs this is a nice guitar now I need to probably get a hold of the guy that I got all these guitars from and say I have this uh, line 6 Variax bag and the power I'm guessing that's what these electronics are for is it line 6 Variax it's that Line 6 guitar that can tune itself and go into different tunings and everything by itself. Yeah. So, I'll have to follow up with him on that Line 6 stuff. Okay, here's the last one. And this is in a PRS SE bag. And so we are hoping that there's a PRS in here. And there is. So what we're looking at here is the PRS SE Soap Bar 2. So what that means is we've got two Soap Bar P90s in this guitar. And it's got the dot inlays. There's no birds on this one. Um, volume, tone, three-way switch, wraparound tailpiece. Nice condition. All these PRSs are the older Korean ones. Um, the no fret sprout on this guitar feels perfect. This is a nice one. PRS Soap Bar. All right, guys. So there you have it. The recent uh, group of guitars that I've just recently acquired. You guys feel free to give me a call. All you guys in Arizona, in the Phoenix area, drive, make the drive over here. We're at Zim's Guitars on Alma School in Guadalupe. Let's do some deals. Help me get rid of some of these things. I've got way too many guitars right now. Thank you guys for watching. Hit the thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, do all that. I have an Amazon link. I've got all kinds of affiliate links. All that fun YouTube stuff. Thank you guys for watching. Go buy a guitar. Mm -hmm.